Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our gospel today is perhaps one of the most intriguing and shocking stories in the gospel. Jesus compares this Syrophoenician woman to a dog, and subsequently all Gentiles saying, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. But Barclay says that when this incident is seen against its background, it becomes one of the most moving and extraordinary in the life of Jesus. First, we consider the location of the event, Tyre and Sidon, all Gentile territories, land of what Jews considered as unclean and impure. Yet, like the gospel yesterday where Jesus said, no food can make you unclean, he is as if saying today, no person can also make you unclean. Or having contact with Gentiles won't make anyone unclean. Jesus makes contact with Gentiles who were at that time considered unclean to let everybody know that they too have a place in the mission and consequently in the kingdom of God. And to even emphasize the message, when a Syrophoenician woman came to him and begged him to drive out the demon out of her daughter, Jesus captured what the people were thinking of her. Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Some biblical scholars say that Jesus could have said it with tenderness, as, would, as we would sometimes call a man, say an old rascal, in a voice of contempt or a voice of affection. The meaning and reception may change depending. Some others say that Jesus must have used a diminutive word which described not the wild dogs of the streets, but the little pet lap dogs of the house. And in Greek, diminutives are characteristically affectionate. So Jesus took the sting out of the word. But in plain sight, no matter how you look at it, the term dog is an insult. But could it be that the purpose of Jesus wasn't really to insult the woman, but to bring out the best in her? And true enough, the woman responded, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps, as if to say, Lord, I know the children are fed first, but I can eat the scraps. And Jesus loved that answer. Here was a sunny faith that would not take no for an answer. Here was a woman with the tragedy of an ill daughter at home, and there was still light enough in her heart to reply with a smile. Her faith was tested, and her faith was real, and her prayer was answered. What a shining example to the many Gentiles in the cities of Tyre and Sidon at the time, who probably had no confidence in themselves and had very low self-esteem because of the many centuries of being looked down upon and of being underestimated. What a shining example to all of us right now who feel so low, who feel hesitant to come close to Jesus because you feel you don't deserve Jesus anymore because you feel you are a terrible sinner, so unclean that you do not deserve to be forgiven. What a shining example to so many of us who are going through rough times, especially in this time of pandemic, perhaps because a family member is sick or dying and you are having a difficult time even to smile. This woman gives us strength and hope if she could approach Jesus, even if she was unworthy, if she could still smile, even if her child was sick, we too can. We can because we have Jesus and because we trust in the Lord. Amen.